Also, what's going on is there, you know, the, the investigation into the cause of the crash is going on. Now, that investigation could take, you know, a year. It could take longer than that. But at the end of that, there's probably going to be some type of litigation, some type of lawsuits against, you know, somebody. Um, it could be the owner of the helicopter. It could be against the pilot, potentially against the uh, air traffic control. Really? Yeah. Um, possibly Kobe's family. Kobe's family could have a cause of action against any of the other entities that I mentioned previously. Mm. And a lot of this depends on the outcome of the investigation. Uh, I was listening this morning, the pilot's communication with, with air traffic control was consistent, you know, up until the time of the crash. Mm -hmm. uh, there was some speculation about the plane, the, hel the helicopter circling for 15 minutes in an area before kind of clearing through. Um, that was because they were seeking permission to go through um, airspace. And there were planes landing, so they had to circle and wait for those planes to clear. It wasn't really related to the fog. Um, mm. And then he kind of got direction to to follow the 5 and then the 101 and then the 118. So he was in, in communication with air traffic control, and he had visual of the ground so he could follow the freeways. Yeah, the 5 uh, and the 101, that's, those are the interstates. That run, right, run right. There, yeah. So in, with the helicopter, you only need, I think, a mile of visibility, and you have to be able to see the ground. Mm. Those are the only two requirements. Um, so he was in compliance until he tra he switched off to the last air traffic controller. Um, and he was asking for uh, for them to track him on radar, and the response came back: "You're too low for us to for us to track you." Mm. And at that point, you can only hear one end of the conversation. You can't hear what the pilot's saying, but you can hear the air, tra air traffic controller's response to the pilot. Um, so he's telling them, "You know, you're too low," and then you know. The transmission, of course, he ultimately crashes. So once once fault is kind of um, sorted out through this mm -hmm. investigation, mm -hmm. there probably will be some lawsuits, um, and it just kind of depends on you know who is going to come out on on what end of that. Wow. Um, so I, again, you know, it's very early in this process. There was a lot of speculation out there about.